So the last video I posted talking about 8 units of tubular battery or gel battery have more power compared to a 10 kilowatt of lithium battery got you know a lot of mixed reaction people arguing that uh, for gel battery for tubular battery it cannot go above 50 percent it have to be 50 percent someone even said if you have a 200 amps battery you can only use 100 amps like i was like you know that kind of thing you know it's surprising why would why should i buy a 200 amps battery and end up using 100 amps out of it it doesn't sound sane so i decided to do a little research i went through some official uh, website of some companies that produces batteries guess what most of them recommend 80 percent depth of discharge batteries like ado batteries like eastman they are even tubular batteries and they recommended 80 percent depth of discharge now what i observe is most of the companies that recommend 50 percent depth of discharge are companies that produces car batteries and we don't use car batteries for our installation then i did another video talking about is your inverter that decide uh the depth of discharge of your batteries arguments still came in people are like no it's not possible you are you know stuff like that anyway for those that understand what i'm saying you understand because it's your inverter that determine when it goes off not your battery because your inverter can decide to go off at 12.0 that's its own lvd once it at that uh voltage it will go off but most inverters are designed to work down to 80% depth of discharge, whether you are using gel or you are using tubular battery. That is why your battery, will go, your inverter will go off when your when your battery is at 11.5, and 11.5 is 80% depth of discharge because each gel battery or tubular battery contains six cells, and each cell uh, have about 2.12 volts. So in full, it will be 12.7 volts. I'll display a chart for you on this video two charts the first one will be state of charge the second one will be depth of discharge so we'll look at the first one before we look at the second one so the first one if you can see at 100 percent charge your battery will be 12.7 volts right at zero at zero percent charge that means your battery no longer have charge and it's not advisable to, for you to use it and if you observe from uh from uh 11 point six or let's say 11.6 downward is now showing red it means it's not advisable to use it at that level to use your battery at that level so at 10.5 your battery has zero charge it's not advisable for you to use it and most inverter will not even come on at that battery vote at 11.3 there are some inverters that work that means that your inverter is going up to 90 percent depth of discharge i also will not advise that because it's not good for your battery health right then most of the people arguing that it's not good for you to go above 50% depth of discharge. This is what they are telling us. They are telling us that when your battery is at 12.0, you should put everything off. But your inverter is designed to work down to 11.5. That means at 11.5, there is no damage done to your battery. Let's look at depth of discharge. So the depth of discharge is opposite of state of charge. Depth, depth of discharge at 0%. That means at 0% depth of discharge, your battery will be 12.7. You haven't consumed anything out of it. Then when you consume like 10% out of your battery, you have 12.5 uh, left, right? When you consume 20%, uh, you have 12.4 left. When you consume 30%, uh, you have 12.3 left. Your inverter will still be working fine. When you, have, when you consume 40% depth of discharge, your battery will still have 12.2 left which is still good, not bad for your battery. When you consume 50%, you will still have around 12.1, 12.0 left. This is what most installer, installers are seeing. When your battery is at 12.0, you should put your inverter off. But I say your inverter is smart enough. It know at which voltage it should cut off to uh, you know, uh, prolong your battery lifespan or to prolong your battery life. Your inverter can work down to 11.5. And 11.5, between 11.5 and 11.6, that's 80% depth of discharge. So I don't know why most of us are really arguing about this. So your inverter determines at which voltage it will trip off to preserve the battery life. So don't go and be putting your inverter off because somebody says you should observe it at 50% depth of discharge. Whereas most companies that produce battery still recommend 80% depth of discharge. And some people say uh, life for lithium, you can go 90% most of them even recommend still 80 percent depth of discharge like i said the advantage which uh lithium have over a gel or, or over tubular is the lifespan and also uh, uh the weight and aside that also the temperature like if you have life before you can install it anywhere not minding you know the temperature stuff like that 
I don't have to carry out maintenance.